what types of motor program errors occur. Simply put, if you execute a motor program, it doesn't always work out. You miss the target and you fail to achieve your movement goal. So why do we have motor program errors? There are three main sources of error. The first of these are what we call recall errors. This is simply when you reach into memory and access the motor program, you just don't recall it correctly. Think of all the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of neurons involved in executing a motor skill. And sometimes you just select the wrong ones from memory. These are recall errors. A second source of error is neuromotor noise. You've all been tired and known that your motor system isn't performing optimally. This is a form of neuromotor noise. If you want a fun take-home study, try drinking a can of Red Bull and then trying to thread a needle. You'll see an excellent example of neuromotor noise. It's important to note that both of these sources are internal. These are factors within the body that cause error. Last but not least, there are changes in the movement environment. These are changes beyond your control. Imagine passing a ball in soccer well, the person you're passing to is moving and they abruptly change direction. That is something beyond your control. So this is an external source of error. So why do motor program errors occur? Three reasons. We recall from memory incorrectly and thus have an incorrect motor command. Two, we have neuromotor noise brought about by the state of the body itself, again, resulting in an incorrect motor command. And third, we have the correct motor command, but the world unexpectedly changes and we are unable to successfully execute the skill.